I'm always looking for some truth in the food. Food is primal survival. People take very little more seriously and more personally than their food. There's something very authentic about being fed and feeding people that I think speaks to probably why I'm a restaurateur. There's some deep satisfaction in making somebody happy. You know, I'm that girl who would travel miles for a juicy peach or a fresh date. I'm the girl that wants to share everything I love and particularly with food. A great restaurateur strikes and lives in between art and commerce. It's one thing to want fantastic food and to serve it, and it's another thing to make a living, a viable living. My dad's influence on the Boston restaurant scene had become mythic. Dad was a banker. He was able to identify and nurture the very first round of great chefs in Boston. All of them had my dad to thank for giving them their initial loans that permitted them to open their first restaurants. The thing about my dad was that he was just one of these extraordinarily obsessive people when it came to food. But he really liked down and dirty food. He could make the perfect burger. Both my sister and I wound up in the restaurant business. I don't know whether it was uh, through his design. Ultimately, to get dad's approval and his attention, we had to do something he was passionate about. And I think that drove us both to the business. I'm really blessed to have an extraordinary team. We're able to strike a balance between very hard work and, and, and play. It's a love of food, it's a love of life, and it's also an appreciation for business. For me, really, it's about providing an environment for human connection, interaction, and a place that takes great care of you to celebrate being alive. As a restaurateur, you contribute to the movement and evolution of your city. And if you can create something that's signature, you and your restaurant have the potential to become not only part of its fabric, but part of its history. These are the things I write about in When I Met Food, my obsession with food and how I translated that into a viable business.